Hi, my name is Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my autobiographical series, My Life and Not So Much a Nutshell, but More of a Melon Rind. And this is from the second of those four books. In September of 2009, Adam told me that an apartment had opened up in his building. He lived in downtown Binghamton, and it was a secure building, owned by a church, so the rent was fairly cheap. I jumped on the opportunity. I made arrangements to meet with the manager and see the flat. Before work one day, Uncle Butch drove me down to the building. It was a four-level building on the corner of Carroll and Susquehanna Streets. The apartment was on the top floor. The manager, Reverend Frank, was a tall, skinny man. The apartment was a single-bedroom unit with a slim kitchen and a sizable living room. I gave him a security deposit and he handed me the keys. The next day, Jeff and Uncle Butch helped me move in. I didn't have much stuff, so it took us two trips up the three sets of stairs. A few days later, I started talking to a guy that I had met on a dating website. His name was Nick Laporte and he lived in Endicott. I made arrangements to stay at Debbie and Ricky's house one day after work. They lived in Endicott and it was easier than taking a bus from work that night. When I left work, I walked over to Debbie's place next to Dunkin' Donuts. The next day, I met up with Nick. He lived in a student housing complex above a shop on Washington Ave. He greeted me with a smile. He had short brown hair and green eyes. Nick made me a spectacular lunch in his kitchen, which was bigger than my apartment. I stayed with Nick all day and went back to Debbie's that night. A few days later, I seen Nick again, and I thought we had a pretty good time. I stayed at Courtney's apartment that night. She lived above a massage parlor on George F. Highway. I had to work the next day, and her apartment was within half a mile of my Hess Express. When I left Courtney and Justin's place, I got a text from Nick. He said, I don't think we should see each other anymore. I asked him why that was. He said that he didn't think we were that compatible. That was my first time being broken up with via text message.